Okay guys, today what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to put uh, some stuff together. Uh, over the course of the last three lessons, we've worked on getting into the heel position, we've worked on staying, and we've worked on bringing the dummy back to hand. Now, you know, you don't have to do this on the same schedule I'm on. Be patient, do it at your own pace. But once you start to feel comfortable that your dog can get into the heel position pretty reliably, doesn't have to be perfect, he can stay under his traction pretty reliably, doesn't have to be 100% perfect, you know, uh, and we'll bring that dummy back to your hand. Now, he doesn't have to, you know, bring it back to your hand and sit there perfectly still. This is not a force-fetching exercise. We're just working on the idea of each time that we go out, we're going to try to more closely approximate our end end result. So what's our end result? We want a dog, he's steady to the fall, he goes out, he picks up the bird, he brings it back, he jumps into the heel position, and he waits there patiently until you take the bird and put it in your little pouch. That's that's what you're after. Or if you're not a hunter, well you just do it with your dummy or your frisbee or whatever. Okay, but that's down the road. Okay, so don't get in a hurry. Don't fuss at him and carry on and, and think you need to be doing stuff to make him do it perfectly right now. All you need out of him right now is for him to really like it and for each time that you go out and you're training set session uh, needs to be fun and the behavior needs to more closely approximate your end result. Okay, so let's get started. To get started on this exercise, you don't need much. You need you an orange cone, you need you a dummy that you can see uh, very plainly in the grass, you need you a show lead that you can put around his neck, and you need a puppy that you can call into the heel position. So let's see if I'm ready to start this exercise. I've got my stuff, let's see if I can come up with a puppy. Henry, heel! Oh, good boy. He comes over here. He jumps right in the heel position. You notice I'm still using my treats because I find that using my treats helps keep him calm. You know, he gets really excited sometimes when he, when he knows we're going to do some fetching. So I use my treats in the beginning of the exercise to keep him calm and focused. All right, now let's move on to the next stage. <clears throat> okay, so... You know, at his age, he's not really he's not really 100% able to control himself when I go to throw in this dummy. I don't even expect him to. So what I'm going to do, I don't want to have failed repetitions where I throw it and then he breaks and then I yell at him or fuss at him. So what I'm going to do right off the bat is I'm going to tell him that, we're, you know, let's go ahead and put our head through this leash, Henry. And I'll use my treat for that. And then I'm going to cinch this up kind of tight. Now, see, this way I've got a hold of him. And when I throw my dummy, if he was to try to break, he, he, he's going to have no success at it. I don't have to be angry. I don't have to yell or fuss or really even correct him, you know. Now, also what's going on here, when you put that leash on, if they have any experience with the leash, then the odds of them breaking are going to be much less. Now, in some of my videos, uh, I use a tent stake for this. Uh, but today, I'm just gonna I'm just going to hold it because, you know, I figure a lot of you guys, you know, you don't have tent stakes. So I'm just going to hold it. And uh, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna see what I'm doing here. So I'm gonna throw my dummy, and he's gonna have to wait and be calm and patient. And then as a result of waiting and being calm and patient, I'm gonna let him go get it. Now when he goes and gets it, you're gonna hear me talk to him in a real high pitched voice, or maybe you know blow my whistle a little bit to tell him, hey, all right, that's great, run on back over here. And I'm trying to keep him excited enough that he he holds it in his mouth all the way to me, just like we were doing on the table the other day. Then when he gets to me, I'm going to take it from him. If he's doing real well, I might actually let him try to, you know, I'll bend down a little bit, and as he's coming back, I'll stand up and let him try. Just see if it's going to work. See if he'll flip into that heel position and hand me the dummy. If he drops it, it's okay. I'm just going to encourage him to pick it up and hand it to me. You know, now what I would like to see is him to jump into the heel position and hold the dummy in his mouth. I don't think that's going to happen today. It might, okay? But what I, what I have to see is I have to see him stay, I have to see him fetch, fetch with vigor, and I want him to be really excited about it, I want him to be, you know, really like into the game. I want him to bring it back all the way to me. Now, if he doesn't hand it to me, it'll be okay. If he, uh, you know, if he drops it, eh, it's okay. I'm not happy, but it's okay. Uh, perfect day would be he would jump right into the heel position and I would be able to take it from him. Even if he's a little bit hectic, I would still be just, uh, uh, what do they say, apoplectic or whatever. Okay, all right, so let's move to that part. <clears throat> good boy, Henry! Good boy! Oh, what a good boy! Sit. Okay, so I've got my dummy, now I've got my dog in a heel position. Now, what I want him to think is that sitting there and being still will lead to me throwing it. 
And furthermore, sitting there and being still after I've thrown it will lead to me releasing him so that he gets a chance to go get it and bring it back so we can start that whole process over again. I don't want him thinking that he can't do things. I want him thinking that, that he can do things. By being calm and patient, I'm empowering him to get me to play this game because that's how life works. If, you're, you know, if, you, if you're on a team and you do your part, well, your teammates do their part. So let's not think about this in terms of a whole lot of bossing or fussing or telling him what not to do. Let's just use this lead. To, to help him do the right stuff. It's always better to train with the right stuff in mind. So I've got some slack in this leash. The only time you're going to see no slack in this leash is if he was to try to break, you see me have to pull back on it a little bit. And then I'm just going to wait until he gets calm to release it. So I'm going to tell him to stay. And I'm going to throw his dummy. And then I'm going to wait, 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 wait. And I'm going to say, Henry. I'm going to let him go. Now this part, oh, good boy. What a fine animal. Oh, my gosh. Oh, good boy. Heel. Good. Now, see, he gets right back into position to do that again. Now, that's a perfectly fine place to start and work for, heck, weeks or months even. You know, but this time, I'm going to try to do it. And right as he comes back, I'm going to see if I can stand up. And maybe he'll jump right into the heel position with the dummy in his mouth. If he does it, that's great. If he doesn't do it, I'll probably just back up and do it the other way the next week or so. Stay. Wait, 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 wait. Henry. Now, I'm going to tell him, good job. Oh, good job, Henry. Now, right here, I'm going to stand back up, heel, and oh, all the way up. Oh, good boy. Now, look, guys, he didn't get right all the way into the heel position right there, but that's okay. You know, I mean, I, I made progress towards my end result. My end result would be he jumps right into the heel position and holds that. Okay, he didn't get there. But what he did was he tried to get into the heel position and hold the dummy, and he just got a little excited and dropped it. So I'm not going to fuss at him. I'm just going to try it again. Now, this is the art of dog training. Sometimes you got to back up and say, ah, man, I'm going in the wrong direction. But I feel like for some reason I'm going in the right direction here. So I'm going to throw the dummy. Wait, 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 Henry. And maybe I'll be a little bit more calm when he comes back this time. Come on, buddy. Come on, heel. Heel. Good boy. Oh my gosh. Good boy. Right. Now, I was right, you know, uh, uh, and he, he jumped right into position for me. And that's awesome. Uh, I was lucky. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't get lucky. So let's look at it from a, a different perspective where you can see what he looks like when he's going away. But when you're out there training, if you'll keep a log, uh, I guarantee you that you're, 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 you know, the amount of times that you get lucky per dog training sessions will get better. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to write that down in the log so when Callie, my assistant, comes down here to work him, she knows that at least during one part of the training session, he did, he did something that was... Uh, you know, it, it was kind of a big leap in his training, so I'm really, really happy with him for that. Okay. All right, now what I'm, what I'm trying to do here, guys, is get you another angle so you can more closely see, you know, what it is that I'm seeing when I'm working on this. Henry. Oh, good boy! You want him to be excited when he comes back. Good boy! Oh, my gosh! Good, I hope y'all could see that in the video. Stay. Now see, I'm going to use my leash right here. He got a little bit too excited, so I had to use my leash. Not mad at him or anything. I understand. You know, heck, I get excited too. Henry. Oh, good boy, Henry. What a fine animal. Heel. Oh, oh now see right there? He didn't drop it on purpose. He got into the heel position. Good boy. Pick it up, Henry. Oh, good boy. Sit. Good. Let's try that one more time. I'm going to reach down here and grab my leash. Now don't get excited. And not use your leash. You know, you have your leash, you use it. Because the man, if you let them break, it's it's hard to it's hard to fix it. Henry. You can whistle at him. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Heel. Oh, good boy. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's a fine animal. Good boy. Alright, now let's try this another way. Hold my dummy towards the camera. Henry. Good boy, Henry. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Get in there. Oh, how awesome. How awesome, son. Good. Stay.
Henry. Oh, good boy, Henry. Good boy. Oh, oh, good boy. Stay. Henry. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Oh, he's a fine animal. Heel. Stay. Oh, good boy, Henry. Oh, you're such a good fella. Can you get around here? Up, oh, fetch up. Oh, good boy. Oh, good boy. Stay. Back. Oh, good boy. Oh, what a fine boy. Oh. What a good boy! Oh, what a good boy! Oh my gosh! Oh, good. All right, guys, and uh, that's how we do it. See y'all next week.